Hey everybody, um, long time followers of you know that about one year ago uh, I had a video up um, explaining the giveaway. Uh, it was a big giveaway back then. And in that giveaway, uh, I explained to you that I will give the company to you guys. Uh, meaning that as a uh, owner of the business, I have zero salary. I'm not taking any money out of the company. And um, in that video, I described a little bit about uh, how I see business could be done today. And um, that's one of the things I want to talk about today. So with the video today, we want to close the past, the ghost of the past is history, and uh, talk a little bit more about how we work, how we operate, and what our uh, thinking behind the whole thing is. All right? Now, today's video will make a lot of uh, you guys very happy, particularly the ones that already supported us, and I will explain exactly to you why. In the video uh, of last year, I talked about transparency. We want to make uh, the way we work transparent to you guys, so that you can make a decision whether you want to support us or not. And um, uh, one of the things we had to sacrifice for the whole thing was profit. And therefore, we want to talk a little bit today about um, what goes into our product, what is all behind it, and we'll actually tell you exactly how much it costs us to produce it and how little we make of it. All right, so uh, let's have a look. At the heart of our box, of course, is our DVD box. It's a fully loaded six DVD fold-out collector's edition box. And uh, we kind of started with the um, old plastic ones, uh, you know those, but we said, nah, that's not cool enough. Let's do something really cool like Lord of the Rings collector's box or something. Now the um, metal jewelry box uh, is actually quite expensive uh, in purchase, but it protects the miniatures very well. And as you can see here, uh, also on the way we are packing everything, uh, we'll make sure that uh, nothing breaks during transport. We have a lot of uh, those uh, cushiony things in there, making sure that uh, everything gets to you in one piece. This is my favorite piece. That is a, a little Buddha sticker. We could have used uh, scotch tape, but we wanted to use something cooler. And each of them is 21 millimeters high, which makes, you guessed it, a total of 42 millimeters. <laughs> yeah, well, this is not necessarily my favorite part, the buttons. We made a lot of buttons. The first 42 were fun, but then uh, the first thousand were the worst. The second thousand were the worst too, and after that we went into a bit of a decline. And as you can see here, um, every single button was handmade by us. We bought this little machine here. Uh, you put in a little metal plate, you put in the uh, paper, you put in a um, plastic cover on top, you put the needle or the magnet on the bottom, and of course we had to make sure that uh, every single one looks good and there's no misprints. Like this one looks really nice and there's something wrong with that one. Well then of course for the certificate uh, we didn't just want a piece of paper so we wanted a seal. We had a little uh, pressing machine made for the seal as you can see here. Then each of the certificates is uh, signed and it's numbered. So this is supporter pack, pack number 300. And of course it gets the little seal of the Laughing Buddha. Every single personal letter that we send out is hand signed by Ben, by Marty and by myself. And for us that's really the least they can do uh, to just say thank you for your support. Yeah, another highlight I think of our uh, first supporter box is the supporter box itself, handmade in Germany. It has a magnetic uh, closing mechanism and as you can see here we put our brochures in there. Uh, one that uh, tells you about us and the other one tells you how to pre prepare your miniature. We have the uh, buttons, we have the miniatures and of course the DVDs in there. Now the certificate is important, I uh, want to put this uh, in there as well. And then of course we got uh, two little stickers which we can add. And in this particular box, uh, which is kind of special, I also put this kind of weird button in there that looks like me, but I don't know. Now, of course, to make sure that the box is not uh, damaged during transport, we have the sleeve. But the sleeve is so nice that we have to protect it with a t-shirt. We thought that bubble wrap was just too simple. And uh, the box itself is a very tight fit custom made box, uh, just to make sure that the uh, product, again, is uh, very well protected. Uh, we put a label on there and then it's ready to head out to you. Laughing and learning stories today. The making of your painting Buddha shirt. With two men in a catalog. Louis in a bucket of white paint. The bucket of orange paint. A weird looking machine. An upside down grill. And a pizza oven. 
When it comes down to quality for all of our components, we have one very simple rule and we don't compromise. The rule is we don't do cheap. We prefer handmade quality work uh, over industrial mass production. So in this video you can see how I visited with uh, Luis. Uh, he's the owner of Imprenta here in Berlin and he is a really good t-shirt printer. Um, the t-shirts we are buying are really expensive. Um, it costs us about $8.50 to make a t-shirt. Uh, we could have had some cheap ones for $1.50, uh, somewhere from China. But these are biodegradable, CO2 friendly, fair trade and the highest quality cotton we could get. The um, printing process is actually quite long. Um, there's three layers of white interrupted uh, by two drying cycles. Uh, and then uh, he will add an additional orange uh, layer um, just to make sure that the colors shine really through. Here's the uh, drying machine. It uh, dries with 170 degrees. And uh, when the t-shirts are done, um, they will be dried again at 340 degrees. Uh, this is this uh, kind of long conveyor belt uh, pizza oven that you can see here. And uh, when they come out, uh, the paint is really um, bonded with the fabric and it's, it's a really nice quality. You can wash it dozens of times without a change. Holy shit, we this out. Alright guys, now you've seen how much uh, attention we pay to all of the little details and all of the little uh, gimmicks in the product. And uh, honestly, I'm, I'm a nerd, I'm a collector's nerd first. Um, um, not so much a painter, not so much a gamer, I'm a collector at heart. Uh, and I just love these little details. Um, and uh, I hope you appreciate those too. Well now uh, let's have a look at what this actually all costs and how much value you get for your money. All right, and here's the breakdown. Please keep in mind that this is only pure production cost, does not include any salaries or other expenses, just what it cost us to make the box. Alright, and here comes our profit, which of course we turn into 42% reinvestment, 42% for the community, that is you, and 16% for charity. So in the end, there's uh, just uh, one thing to say for me, and that is first of all, thank you uh, for being part of this. Uh, we're having a lot of fun doing these kind of videos, and of course we're having a lot of fun uh, making our products for you guys. Um, but I have one favor to ask of you. You know what it is, and that is to share and enjoy. If you know somebody who is a miniature painter, if you know somebody who is a tabletop painter who wants to learn to be a better painter, send them our way, all right? Thanks. Śmiecho i rzeczo historyki. Już dzisiaj. Produkcja Twojej koszulki Painting Buddha. Twojego facetu z jakim katalogiem? Luis i jego pojemnik białej farby? Tym zwariowanym pojemnikiem pomarańczowej farby? Jakaś zajebista maszyna? Luis i I przewoźnik taśmowy na pizzę. Well, that was mad.